You are the Black Panther. You need control, speed, and power. Along with some swag. Very nice. Let's go. Avengers are suiting up for their next mission. But until the summer arrives, there's a whole new Marvel movie headed your way. Don't miss Marvel Studios' Black Panther coming soon to a theater near you. And if it's not near you, then get in a car, a uh, plane, bus, train, bike, skateboard, run, and get your butt to the movie. Yeah, man. Hi, I'm Robert Downey Jr. This is such an exciting moment. I'm here with Chadwick Boseman, who plays Black Panther. I got questions. Yeah, yeah. All right. For anybody who didn't see Civil War, everybody get down! Can you reiterate the events leading up to now and his place among the Avengers? Well, the Avengers leave that movie sort of split between Iron Man's side and Cap's side. So he took your side. Wakanda being this almost mystic locale. Can you tell us what is so special about his home country? We are home. Part of it is that it's a mystery. It has a lot of natural resources, one of those being vibranium. How much more are you hiding? Which you have a lot of. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got a little. What's the vibranium for? Damage report. That's comprehensive. I've never played a king before, so I'm just wondering, how do you prepare for that? You watch people like yourself. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. What I've seen, and I'll just say it right here, you're the right man for the job. Oh, man. Uh, I cannot wait to see this. You are a good king, and you are deserving of this crown. Thank you, man. Thank you. Wow. Hold tight! Hey, everybody. So we got some new Black Panther to talk about. It's dropping this week. But because Avengers is coming right after it, they're doing full-blown crossovers. So some of you may have forgotten that he was actually Team Iron Man during Civil War. Although the funny thing about that is that teaming up with Iron Man was nowhere on his to-do list. He just wanted Winter Soldier and Iron Man had already assembled his team to take him in. Captain America had his team. So it was really just born out of convenience. I'm sure he knows all about Tony Stark. He probably has a certain level of respect for him as a technologist, but I don't think he trusts him that much, especially because of his history as a weapons dealer. And way before that, Howard Stark had some experience with vibranium. So Black Panther's family probably was aware of what was going on in the United United States with the super soldier program, especially with Red Skull, the Red Room, everything that was going on in the world in the MCU going back to that first Captain America movie. Because currently, that's the earliest we've been to in the timeline. If you don't count the prehistory from the Thor movies, because you get that big backstory with Hela's character that goes way back thousands of years before any of the Avengers were ever born. So no spoilers for Black Panther, no worries. We'll do those videos later this week after everybody has a chance to see the movie. But the movie itself does do a good job of placing it in the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, what was happening when all this other stuff was going on during the events of Captain America? So while the movie is very specific to the history of the Black Panther character, you can't tell that without telling the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in certain ways. So if you've been watching all the Marvel movies, just keep your ears and your eyes peeled for Easter eggs like that when they talk about things and think about the timeline. Remember, Captain America, back during World War II era, the rest of the timeline really picks up with the death of Tony Stark's parents at the hands of Winter Soldier, and then all the stuff up through the Cold War and Ant-Man the early 90s. Obviously, Captain Marvel takes place during the 90s. So really from about 1940, then you take a couple of jumps, and then that's really where most of the storytelling happens. But this promo is actually a good taste of what the promos for Infinity War are going to be like. They did the same thing for Civil War, where they tried to do the Deadpool thing of doing promos that weren't really promos, like stuff without giving away a whole bunch of footage. Thanks of every man, woman, and child in this country. 
and around the world to live free, free from tyranny and free from oppression. The truth is... So I'm just really excited to see what they try and do. Here's that Black Panther clip that they released where he talks about Easter eggs specific to his character in the Phase 1 and Phase 2 movies before we ever knew that there was going to be a Black Panther movie. My character comes from a place called Wakanda. While that name may not be familiar, it's actually connected to the Avengers universe in ways you never knew. In fact, it might be the most talked about out of any other Marvel movie. You don't believe me? Let's travel back all the way to 2010 with Iron Man 2. At the end of Iron Man 2, we see Nick Fury and Tony Stark talking. Now take a closer look at the map behind them. There's a few locations highlighted, including Wakanda, where I'm from. Moving on in Captain America, the first Avenger, we discover his shield is made of vibranium. That's the rarest metal on Earth. What's important about vibranium? It's made in only one place. Where? Wakanda. Now, the first time Wakanda is mentioned happens to be in Avengers Age of Ultron, thanks to my boy Bruce. Wakanda, Wakanda. Really? Okay, he may not have said it right, but he still said it. And finally, we come to Captain America Civil War, where you meet me for the first time. Your Highness. And where is Bucky being relocated to? You know, if they find out he's here, they'll come for him. Wakanda. So you see, it may have been, oh, I don't know, three, five, seven years later, but I've been around. Let me know in the comments, how many of you spotted those Easter eggs when those movies first came out? I don't think I was making YouTube videos when Iron Man 2 came out, but I definitely remember making videos for Iron Man 3. But I think most people saw those, like especially this map during the end of Iron Man 2, where they're like, wait a minute. That's Africa. That's where Wakanda is. Is this a Black Panther Easter egg? Because Nick Fury is talking about Avengers, Tony Stark's arguing about how he's not good enough. Imagine what this kind of video is going to look like in another 10 years. It's going to be crazy. So just a bit of housekeeping. Black Panther Easter eggs, post credit scenes, all those more spoilery videos like my spoilery review, that will post at the end of this week just to give people a chance to see the movie. But do make sure to go see it this weekend so you have a chance to talk about it with everybody because there's nothing worse than having something really cool come out and not being able to talk about it because you haven't seen it yet. There is a new round of that Infinity Gauntlet giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. I'll name a winner when I post a new Marvel video. I have a new Thor video that I'll post tomorrow. So click here for brand new Avengers and click here for that brand new Deadpool video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.